Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sambu from Cloud Tech. Today I will talk about how we can set up Azure CLI like AZ command uh, to the Win and Linux system. OK, guys, so let's move on to that Windows. This is uh, so in the Google you can search like how we can install Azure CLI on Windows. Once you search, so this is the thing will come and if you go a little down, so this is the MSI. So we can install by using this one. So what the latest right? So if you go to here, let me show you that. The latest release version is uh, 2.15.0, right? So let's take this URL. Yeah, we need to just replace the version. OK, so it will download that MSI. Now it is downloading. So let's install this one. So it's installing. Let's accept. Is going. Once it is done, right? So we, we are good to use that. Uh, what you call in Windows uh, like Azure CLI, or we are good to use that AZ, right? Because now if you type here AZ, right? Let me show you that. Just with the power cell. And if you just type AZ, it will say like AZ is not recognized. Is it logging or something like that? If you try, it's saying that like AZ is not recognized right? because it is not yet installed. Right? So let's install first. So installation is going on. So that you can use this like if you see my uh, subsequent video like uh, uh, key vault, those things, right? How we can use it like then uh, by any programming language like Java or Python, whenever you are trying to communicate to that Azure service, right? If you do that uh, by default credential, basically, if you uh, AZ login is setup is done, right? Then you can uh, able to communicate by programmatically way to that any Azure service. So that is the benefit of uh, like uh, this AZ CLI, right? So maybe I in my subsequent video I will show you like how it would be benefit that AZ CLI in uh, programmatically way, right? So in that Azure Key Vault or uh, uh, like Backup Vault or uh, some app config, those service, if I try to access programmatically, then this Azure CLI it will helpful. OK, guys, so this is installation done. So let's open again. Also, now see that AZ command is not saying like it is not recognized, right? If you see here, now it is we no need to set any path or nothing, right? Now if you just logged into this particular user, right? So you that I have already provided that credential. Now logged in successfully. Right? Now if you go here, right? In your particular, uh, now we can run some sample command, CLI command. We'll see like we are able to do the not. Is it? Again, just try. See, we are able to do it. This is the VM I have already uh, launched right in that our uh, virtual in that uh, in that uh, Azure portal right. So, so now I am able to list uh, list out like which all uh, VM it is there right. So I am able to list out right. So by using that we can confirm like yeah our AZ login also successful here by in this console. Whenever you type AZ login, then it will navigate to that web browser and you have to give your uh, which uh, subscription ID you have right email address and password. Once you give the here log, uh, now you can close this browser. No need actually this one. Then our AZ login is successful. Now if you want to log out, how we can log out? Let me show you that also. So is it? Simple command just put is it log out. Now it is logged out. Right? So now try to see is it. See 
Azure login setup app. This is how this is like a, in AWS, right? We used to do a, a, AWS config CLI, right? They are used to provide our uh, like uh, access key, cigarette key, those things, right? But in that Azure, we need to do by using our login credential, we can set up that Azure CLI. Then once it is done, then we can go to access that CLI. Uh, we, whatever command we want to do, right? We can do here. And then let me show you how we can do by uh, Linux also. So let's come here. So Linux, like what if you have Ubuntu system or if you have CentOS or Azure Linux or whatever you have, right? Accordingly, you have to select. Then these are the command you can get here. So installation command, let me show you that. This is the command you can use to install uh, like uh, by using this all step. If you go, I will give this link to this video description so that uh, very simple. Uh, both are almost similar. You just run this all command to that particular uh, machine. Then it will be able to install your uh, then you can able to access. But only difference is when uh, in a Linux system, when you do AZ login, right? That time it will give you that it will not directly redirect you to that web browser, like how Windows is redirecting to the web browser. Linux, it will not it will give you that directly redirect to web browser. It will ask you like, uh, please uh, uh, take this uh, particular URL and paste to the browser and it will give some device code and you have to uh, enter the device code. Once you enter the device code, then you are good to log in to that, but uh, that AZ login would be successful for Linux also. This is the only one difference. Other than that, everything will be the same. Let me again uh, repeat that in, in Windows, if you type the AZ login, it will directly redirect to your web browser. But in Linux, if you just type the AZ login, it will give you that one link. That link you have to copy and paste to that browser. And it will, along with that link, it will give one device code also. That code, once you paste that link to that web browser, right? It will ask you to enter that code. Once you enter that code, then in the Linux system, you are good to log in. Then whatever uh, like command in CLI you want to do, you can able to do it. Okay, guys. I hope this will helpful to you guys. This is very simple. And I will give these two links like Windows and as uh, Linux so that you can uh, have a look uh, while you are doing the setups. And if this video is valuable to you guys, please do like, share with your friend and subscribe to my channel. It will really inspire to me and it will really support to me. Okay, guys. See you in my next video. Chalo, bye.